So we are on the final question in the buoyancy section. This is buoyancy part three, lift bag questions, example question three. Please watch these videos in the correct order by watching them through my website, goprocaribbean.com. You won't get confused that way. So a very, very simple buoyancy question, lift bag question, because it's in fresh water. But I advocate always using the two-step process for lift bag questions. If you always fo follow a methodical two-step approach, you won't make a mistake such as ignoring the type of water the object is in, a very common mistake I see people make. So the first thing we look at in a lift bag question is the weight of the object. It's 175 kilograms. We can fill that in. We now look at the type of water it's in. We need to divide by the constant for that type of water. In this case, it's fresh water, so one. Um, so yeah, we are dividing by one. It's a fairly pointless step, but it's methodical. It's the right way to do things. So 175 divided by one is 175. We've just calculated the total volume of water we need to displace. We have a certain amount of water already displaced based on the volume of the object. So what is the volume of the object? It's 45 litres. So we need to put that 45 in, and now we've got 175 minus 45. What we're calculating is the amount of water we need to use the lift bag to displace, 130 litres. So that is the end of the buoyancy tutorial videos and example questions. You now need to practice what you've learned in this section by doing the quiz. The quiz is going to mix up all the buoyancy questions that you have learned. Um, the quiz section is going to require registration. It helps me make new videos that are suitable for the audience that are watching these videos if I know a little bit more about the audience. That is why I want you to register.